I'm Scottish professional mixed martial artist Paul Beard UK. When I'm not in the octagon competing against the most dangerous athletes in the world, I like to test myself against some of Scotland's best and brightest. In the very first episode, we are joined by Edinburgh Fringe favourite, star of Netflix stand-up special Dark and Jigsaw, one of Scotland's finest exports, the Sloss Nest monster himself, Mr Daniel Sloss. This is Beard You Bows. So, uh, imagine getting your rib broken shite. It is. It's not the. It's not the best. See when you like, it was. It was fine because adrenaline kicks in and you're like, I can. I can survive this. But Do then you hear it or you feel it more. You feel it and you hear this wee. Which tells me a noise that the body doesn't make. <laughs> um, definitely to try this. Okay. Reaction time. Kung Fu Panda. Like, I reckon you've got me there. Mario Kart. You, there's not a chance for you. Like there's was, not a chance for you on that. Oh, we don't do gambling. What about the Jurassic Park classic film? I'm pretty sure that's team player, but I reckon I'll Should be. Should we give you a score? But anyway, no, so be a score one, what was what was much worse was I was lying on the ground and I was protecting my face so he wasn't going to punch me, and he needed me full force right in that spot again. I go, and I like this wee whimper goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, that's the, like when you land a shot, is there a point where you go well, two two part question? Is there a point where you go like fuck I like? Do they make noises where you're like? Yeah, there's, 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 there's the noises that just get you that wee bit hard. You know, like, <laughs> like not a full on rager, but it's just a like, uh, oh. just a just a wee quarter chub. I right, like just uh, there, is, there is there is these points, um, and 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 they do make some weird noises. Like the stomach takes a lot of weird noises. Like see when you knee something, you lift it like, and they make like they make like a kid noise or like a like somebody standing on a bagpipe. I, I, <laughs> um, so, what's your first pick? Uh, Mario Kart, it's got to be Mario Kart. Let's head back to Mario Kart. Started and turns out some 
so many did you forget? So you need to get, what player is it? 34. 26. 26, right. Like, come on, don't hit the grab, don't block it. Show us what you can do. It's a big machine, mate. It's big stuff, See, the thing is, this is obviously designed for kids. Yeah. What kids have got the reflexes of a professional yeah. athlete? Really? <laughs> <laughs> the kids are like, I too, I've just got all these tickets, Dad. When I first became aware of it, it was the one bit I saw in respect it was the uh, blue face paint when you came out. <laughs> so, if you hear the story about whose idea it no, it's not yours. No, it was planned to make Kerry's. So, so we planned to put on the same show uh, in Sacramento. He's like, man, if I was Scottish, I'd get that Scottish face paint. And I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's go, Scotland. Right. So the guy's super intense. He's intense all the time, man. And uh, I come back, trying to find somewhere to get your face painted. In Sacramento, it's very, very hard. Uh, so we ended up going to uh, Mac, they got that place. So I, I remember coming back from it, and I was walking past the window. Uh, Mike Perry open, bursts through the fire door. It's pissing down my rain, and I've got my hood up. <laughs> what the fuck? How'd that harm? You didn't need the extra time. <laughs> Door open in this hotel. He shouts, Let's fucking go, Scotland! Like, the fire door wasn't meant to be open. He just decided that this merited getting a door open. So that's where, that, that's where that comes from. And it's. I remember looking in the mirror, like, before I was about to do like the, the weigh in, I was looking and I was like, Oh, oh, this is, this is scary. Man, it's Jamie. I had to do I had to, I had to do blue face paint, Scottish face paint, for some. Uh, Adverts a couple of years ago. There's something that there is generally something. What was advert for? It was um, Scottish uh, Electric. They were doing the. It's all online. Scottish Hydro, I think it was. I should know this. I was. I was. I was you the face of it. I was. Hi, but they gave me the blue Scottish face paint. There's something about put it on. It does just. It feels you know, good, doesn't it? It does. It gives you that little bit of. Like, Scottish like, like, where, the, where the fuck is English? I, don't know. Okay, I would. I would genuinely love to walk on stage with it, but they just like. I, I don't. I don't know if you get it as much being Scottish, but people. You know, I want to be the best at what I do and Scottish. Right. Like, it's when it's they want it, you know, I, I'm proud of being Scottish, you know, my whole family has lived in, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I was technically born in England, but that was my parents, my Scottish parents' choice. <laughs> Moved me down there, accidentally conceived So are you me. English on your bus with it, on your? I, I don't know, well, because for me, like, my parents- I think we've got cut news here. It's the only time I'll fight you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, um, I, I was about, my parents moved down to England, accidentally conceived me, and then at the age of four, I had a Cockney accent. I was like, hello, mummy, hello, dad. And like, they were like, hey, back up the road. Exactly, they were like, we're not raising a fucking chimney sweep. Like, we're absolutely <laughs> not doing it. Get that dick, that <laughs> dick, back across the wall. Um, and then moved up. So I've lived in, yeah, lived in Fife since I was four. I've seen that, then, you were a Fife boy, so uh, Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray, I, I know Stevie Ray, the not best. personally, but... I, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good friend of, no. of the UFC and Paul. Hi, no. is he? Hi, hi. We, we did have, we did Do have some... Do you know all the Scottish fighters? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. So I get to go to Philly, uh, fight a guy, his name's Ken, he's on... He's down the river. He's, you know, the contender series, he's 6'5". What? He's 6'4". I'm 6'4", aye. I've never seen the size of me, but I'm not a, 
had to be done. Fine. I'm not fighting in any way, shape, or form. Um, kind of throw a punch for sh for anything. I've, I've been head biked once in my life. That's the closest to a fight I've ever got. But uh, I got into it when I got into stand up. My support act a guy called uh, Kyle Humphreys. He's hugely into the UFC. Uh, so I traded him like. I got him lots of comic books and he got me into the UFC and then, I don't know, just something about, it's just better than boxing for me, because boxing is essentially, like, I've just, I've never understood people that like, like boxing but don't like MMA, like, because MMA is it all, like, it, it comes to this, like, oh, it's not the purest of forms, isn't it? It is, but it's all it's, it's old, I know, but it's, people like boxing because it's like, it's old, people like old shit. Uh, it's, it's, it's pure it's nostalgia, is. but like, boxing is like, you go, right, it's MMA, but you can't use your knees, you can't use your elbows, you can't use your feet, and also don't sit these two balloons in your hand. It'd be like watching a football game where they're like, right, only keepers can play. <laughs> like, it's only keepers play, and, and then the whole audience would be like, oh, no, it's just it's a purer form of football. I'm like, it's shite. Right. It's not, I want to see, and also it's more dangerous, because I, I, I totally we're designed to be knocked <laughs> the fuck out when we get knocked the fuck out. Talking about knocked the fuck out, best knockout you've seen, don't say mine in Glasgow, that would be embarrassing. Uh, oh, I mean... Best knockout I've seen. Um, I mean the McGregor Aldo McGregor 13 Aldo. seconds. Like because with the build up to that as well, Jose Aldo undefeated for 10 years. Yep. Like that was 13 seconds, and I was a real McGregor fanboy. Still, I'm like, uh, and that like seeing that was fairy tale edge. So turns out Sloss is a bit of a savage in the arcade, but there's time for one more challenge. Let's see who gets on in my world with the one minute punch challenge. This is genuinely a dream come true for me. Well, not a dream come true, because only my nightmares would I actually be in a UFC fight. <laughs> so, we've got but, a minute. Yeah. One minute, and Daniel is to punch as many times as he can. Right. Obviously, I'm not going to count it as it's happening, but what we're going to do is we're going to count it, and then we'll have a leaderboard. Right. Ultimately, by the end of the year, somebody will be uh, crowned uh, the winner. Have you seen a toddler with his dad's suit? <laughs> This, I do not fit into these gloves <laughs> at all. <laughs> Your hands don't look like that here, do they? I think you. I'm not a big computer to you, so I'll show you in a minute. Right. So, you ready? So, we've got one minute. Straight punches, any kind of power you want. If you want to hit it hard, you want to hit it hard, but you have got a minute. And the timer is going to go in eight seconds. Right. Seven. So, I'll just punch as much as I can. As many times as you can in four, three, two, one, go. Oh, you started off, started off quick. You can see the tension creep in. Oh, the, the pillows went down, the pillows went down. That's why I told you, Bill. It's isn't it? Really know, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. If I told you you're not even halfway through yet, I would believe you. That's it, that's it. Come on, nearly there, nearly there, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't show weakness, don't show weakness. I'm all weakness, that's my entire job. <laughs> so, this is only a minute of punching. Imagine, imagine you're Conor McGregor and you're fighting 25 I minutes. I only 30 se 13 seconds. 11 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Uh. I lost count at 10. <laughs> so we'll put him down for a 10, right? Oh my god. Oh. That's pathetic how tired I am. That's, I mean, the jumper didn't help. When a couple of alpha males go to battle, sometimes there's only one way to resolve their differences.
thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed that uh, give Daniel a follow on Instagram and Twitter at Daniel Sloss and you can catch me kicking dick at UFC on ESPN2 on Saturday the 30th of March live in Philadelphia